Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light Awakening. Today we are doing an aura cleanse and mostly a repair. Um, I haven't done one of these. And that's usually when people start requesting certain videos. So there were a few of you that asked for this. Um, I think I have two or three other ones also. But like I said, it's been a while, but if this resonates with you and you'd like more of this work, check out the older ones. So today I'm going to be using this Stunning Serpentine. And this is great for emotional healing, but also I'm using it for energy amplification. It's also, it has... Um, clearing and protective properties. So if you will, just imagine a little light scrubbing. I absolutely love this stone, but unfortunately um, I haven't been able to use it in my regular style videos with green screen. And just a quick thank you to those of you that have been making donations, I um, I just couldn't take it anymore. I was so frustrated because I put a lot of time and effort and love into these those. And the lighting system I have is just, it seems like it was getting worse. And so I started doing research again and I found some really great lights. So thank you so much for those donations. Um, I put all that money towards a new lighting system, so I'm still learning how to use it. I tried testing it out yesterday and today, so if it's off a little bit, it will get better. So basically, sorry, I digress. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for the donations that helped make this channel even better. This wonderful lighting. I can now use a lot of my green stones that I couldn't use before and uh, most of you know this but green is one of my favorite colors. So just scraping up, scraping loose and just sending the Reiki through the stone as well. So I'm just focusing on any areas where there might be an energy leak. There might be a rip or tear. And I am gently yet powerfully repairing all of these areas. If your energy has been feeling a little off, this could be the reason. Usually I notice I'm already being guided. I can feel like around the head area. That tends to be a very, I'm gonna say popular area for these kinds of problems. Just settle, allow yourself to settle down, settle back. If you have a certain area that you feel you need some attention or work, just bring that to the surface. You can put that request out, set that intention. And I'm using Jade for its rejuvenating properties and also for its wisdom to help guide us, to help us see exactly where and when we need work so we can quickly take care of it before it gets drawn out and we start to hit rock bottom. And if these look familiar, it's because they're gua saw tools, but they are jade, so it doesn't matter what they're for or the shape. 
Again, feeling some work around the head, just strengthening, setting the boundaries, filling in the gaps, the open space. You can probably already feel a difference. And also working with muscovite for its protection and energy buying properties. It's also another one that's great for mental stability. Its metaphysical properties are also to help you recognize what is working and what isn't working for you. So you can quickly make an adjustment again before things get out of control. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. For peace, tranquility, and calmness. Hushnu huti nyanaye, hukutu istashan, hukutu niatai e, henaye tiatai, ustushan tukuish. I can already feel a difference myself in the energy. It feels more expanded. As we bring the session to a close, the powerful healing of eternal love is with you now and always. Divine consciousness fills your every cell. You are whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. You are pure, clear, and balanced. Thank you for all that you're always doing with this channel and for me comments, watching, liking, watching the commercials for all of your generous donations and gifts. There's so much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.